Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we are going to work on three little centerpieces for a luncheon. It's going to be for a 75th birthday. So we're going to use some pretty bright colors. I've got some hot pinks and yellows, whites, and lavender. Um, watch as we put this together. So we are going to start out our arrangement using two different types of vases. So for this order, I have three arrangements um, and it's all going to go on the same table. So it's going to be a luncheon table where there will be um, 12 people sitting around the table. And we're going to make a, a little bit larger arrangement in the center and then we're going to have on each side a smaller bubble bowl container arrangement. Um, so we're starting out with a rosy posy vase. Um, for our center, I'm going to make it and then I'll make the two um, smaller vases together at the same time. We're going to start out with a little bit of lemon leaves allowed as our foliage. We have, uh, I, I like lemon leaf. It has been one of those um, foliages that has grown on me. It was never my favorite and I just like that it's different. It's not the same old leather leaf. And we use here at our flower shop leather leaf a whole lot, but I have come to really appreciate um, lemon leaf because it's just a little fancier um, and it's inexpensive, but it does kind of have a mind of its own. Leather leaf, not so much. Leather leaf will do exactly, you know exactly how it's going to, um, to lay in a vase. But lemon leaf always kind of has a little bit of a um, irregular growth pattern. So you never know if it's going to do what you want it to. So I added my um, lemon leaf to this vase. I'm going to set the rest to the back. And then I'm going to add a little bit of feather eucalyptus. So feather eucalyptus reminds me a lot of um, willow uke. It looks a lot like the greenery in Weeping Willow, and so I love it. But now, if you ask me, I love any type of um, eucalyptus. I just think eucalyptus makes all arrangements prettier. Um, so I'm taking a little bit of this feather uke. I'm cutting the small pieces apart and just tucking it right into my vase um, as our vase foliage. If we needed a little more, we can certainly add a little more at the end. So here is my greened out vase and I've added the, um, the lemon leaf salal and the feather eucalyptus. Next we're going to come in with, I've got several different types of flowers. Um, we've got some beautiful yellow moms. These are a disbud and so, but they're kind of a larger mom, which I love. A Cremona is a little smaller and not quite as hairy as these, but these are so fun. Almost looked a little like a pom-pom, right? Um, so really fun yellow moms. We've got some hot pink spray roses. Hey guys, if you would like to support our small flower shop more directly, be sure to check out our Shopify website right down below. We have ribbons and bows and we have all sorts of gifts there, but we also make custom wreaths. So if you are interested in a custom wreath for your door, be sure to contact us, send us a message, and we are happy to get that shipped right out to you. Some beautiful hot pink spray roses. Um, we have some amnesia roses, which are kind of in the lavender family or kind of a mauve colored rose. For our fillers, we have some fever few, which is so pretty. And we have some yellow solid ego. And then we also have um, some white roses, which are playa, playa white roses. And then a little bit of lavender stock. So what I like to start out with for my base, I'm going to start out with a few, a couple stems of solidago. It just helps give me a little bit more of a grid in this vase. So I'm going to take and strip down the foliage off of that filler flower. I'm going to cut that stem and I am going to tuck two stems of the solidago. I'm going to trim that just a little more. I'm going to cut, um, place two stems of solidago in this arrangement. All right, next I'm going, I'm going to come in with my mums. They're going to be my heaviest flower or my base flower. I'm going to use these um, just kind of deep down into the arrangement, kind of down at the base, just because 
they they visually are heavier so I put one there and I'm going to turn the arrangement around and tuck my second stem back here in the back so we have two of those really pretty yellow disc buds next I'm going to come in with some purple stock or lavender colored stock. Now stock is uh, comes in so many colors and it smells so lovely. Um, so we're gonna add just a touch of this lavender stock. I'm gonna remove my leaves from my um, stem and cut that stem a little short and tuck that right in. I love the smell of stock. There's our two stems of stock tucked in. Next, I'm going to come in with a couple stems of the Playa Blanca roses. So this is the most beautiful white rose. Um, often, if I'm going to do wedding work and I need a beautiful white rose, this is the, my rose of choice. It's really stark, pretty stark white. And not all white roses are as stark white as this one. This one's a, a really nice white rose. So I'm gonna tuck a couple of stems of the Playa Blancas down deep into this arrangement. Now you see here, I am pulling off any petals that don't look pretty. Go ahead and pull those off. If they are not perfect petals, pull them off. It's not hurting your rose at all. So I tucked those two in. And then we're gonna come in with these amnesia roses. So this is a very popular um, lavender-ish, kind of a mauve, a real antique colored rose. Um, they use them a lot in wedding work, um, but they really are different, but they're pretty in their own right. Um, we got in a whole bunch of these and they're just so pretty and I thought they would look really nice with our lavender stock. They pull real well with that. So I am removing some of the leaves because they would go, they would get in the water. So go ahead and remove any leaves that might fall below that water line. And any petals that don't look perfect, remove those. Just tuck those pretty amnesia roses in. And then next we're gonna come in with a couple of stems of these beautiful pink spray roses. This is the perfect pop of color. Everything else is a little, um, a little pastel, I think, except that pretty yellow. But this pink is gonna pop it and make it look like a birthday. So I'm just gonna take a couple of those pink stems and tuck those in. And then we are going to finish this arrangement with some Feverfew. So Feverfew is a, a filler flower. It's chamomile. Um, it really has a really pretty fragrance to me. I really like it. Um, and I think it's such a pretty added summer filler. Like it's just the perfect filler. It has a lot of movement um, and it's so, so pretty in my opinion. So I am going to take it and cut it into smaller pieces and just tuck that in. Now I'm leaving these stems a little longer because I like the fact that it's going to give our little arrangement a little movement. You'll kind of see, it's kind of like that eucalyptus. It just kind of gives it a pretty movement. And I'm going to take one more stem and add just a little more. Now there is another filler in the Aster family and it's called Monte Casino Aster. Now it looks a whole lot like chamomile. The only thing, uh, the blooms look like chamomile. The only difference is Monte Casino Aster is a very rigid stem versus the chamomile has lots of movement. Um, the chamomile kind of comes on little um, stems that shoot off. And Monte Casino is real straight up and down, a lot like the Solidego, but it does have the same little daisy-like blooms on it. Okay, so there is our centerpiece 
for the very center of the table. Next, we are going to make two arrangements to kind of match, but to go on each end, and they're gonna be much smaller. Um, so I'm gonna set this one to the side, and we're gonna pull our little ivy bowls now, I like this vase. I don't know if any of you have ever worked with an ivy bowl. i set my Lazy Susan to the side. An ivy bowl is just a sweet little round bubble bowl, but it has this wonderful little edge all the way around. It's kind of like a little ruffled edge. Now, the reason I prefer an ivy bowl over just a plain um, bubble bowl is the fact that this little ruffled edge, this little lip on this vase, helps to hold your flowers in place. And so we have no problem whatsoever delivering flowers that are arranged in this little ivy bowl. And it's strictly because of this lip on the, on the base. Now, if you have just a traditional bubble bowl that does not have the little ruffled edge, you can absolutely use it, but I would always suggest taking tape and gritting that so your flowers don't topple out. Um, this just really holds those flowers into place. Um, so what I'm going to do is start out just the same way as I did with our larger arrangement. We are going to use a little bit of our um, lemon leaf salal. And I like when I have two identical arrangements, I like making them at the same time. I have found that it just goes faster <laughs> making them both at the same time, putting the same flower in at the same time just makes it go a little faster. So I'm just going to take our lemon leaf, cut it at an angle and tuck it right in to this vase. All right, so I grabbed all of my flowers out of my bucket, the same types of flowers that I used in our larger arrangement. I am going to start out by adding a stem of solidago to my base. So I'm going to take and strip that foliage off the bottom. Next, I will come in with my chrysanthemums, my yellow disbuds. Really, really so pretty. Now, when working with disbuds, you want to be very careful because they will break fairly easy. So, do be very careful not to bump them. But I'm just taking that little mom and nestling him kind of low in that arrangement, just like I did the, the larger one. Next, I'm going to come in with my stock, my pretty purple stock. I'm going to cut it fairly short and nestle him right in. Our play of block of roses, remove any petals that don't look pretty. See how I tucked him right in. Okay. Next we'll come in with our amnesia rose. Removing any of these guard petals. So the guard petals are interesting. Guard petals are what protect the rose um, when it's in a very tight bud space. Bud state. Um, so you, um, they're very, very important, but some people don't understand um, that they have kind of an interesting color often and they are roughly, some people think that that means that they are bad petals on the outside of the rose. I love guard petals. I think they're very interested in, interesting and pretty, but not everybody does. So it's very important that you go ahead and remove those guard petals from those roses just because you might get some complaints on them. So I often will remove the guard petals. Um, next, I'm going to come in with these beautiful hot pink spray roses. 
And so you can see, I am putting exactly what I put in the larger arrangement, just a smaller amount in the two smaller arrangements. And then to finish this arrangement, we're gonna come in with the Fever Few, our beautiful white Fever Few. And I am just going to tuck it here and there in the arrangement. Now I'm going to show you how they're all going to look together on the table. So it's a long table again. There are 12 um, people sitting at this table. So in the very center of the table, we will have this beautiful arrangement. And then on each end, then on each end, we will have the two smaller arrangements. Now there will be a white tablecloth on the table, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of confetti to make it look like a birthday. Guys, thank you so much for being here this afternoon. If you have any questions about how we do things here at Flowers by the Bunch, you can always ask. We would love to answer your questions. You can drop that in the comments right below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. It helps people to see us and be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can hit that little button down below. And if you see that little bell, hit that one also, and it will give you notifications for when we have a new video. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day.